Hello friends, Nico Wale from Adisoft. In this video we will merge several images, georeference them and uh, see what we will find on the images. Let's go to QGIS. We have our small part of the plan where we want the images to be. Let's select some lots which we will use as a reference point. Right click, save as, save them first to the shape file. Oh no, let's save them as a K KML right away. And uh, go to Heritage and we will call them Lots for Georeference. Save only selected features. Then go to Layer, Add Layer, or Create Layer, New Temporary Scratch Layer, we will call them polygon and the system will be the same. Why you may ask? Because I want to copy these into the temporary layer so that they are visible and uh, I don't lose sight of them. Let's move them in front. Let's turn off the other layer. We can save the changes to the temporary layer and now we go to Google Earth and we double click on our lots here are the lots let's turn off the sidebar and we are ready to start uh, to start uh, print screening let's do the first print screen and select No, I won't crop them here. I will crop them in uh, Photoshop. Save as. And uh, here with each, I will save them in this folder. One. We go here and we... Click. Let's see where we got. Yes, we shall see part of this uh, at least. Or preferably to this uh, green area Let's make it like this this will be 2 then we go down we shall see at least until this let's call this 3 and go again and uh, with the left arrow we shall see at least uh, the second tree here. Yes. Print screen. Let's call this four. And now we go to Photoshop. And we need to create an action to crop the the images. Let's go to File Open. Open the first image, let's say. Or rather, let's uh, copy it first. Let's go to the Windows Heritage. We go to GIS and we go to Heritage GR. We copy this one, no matter which one, and uh, paste it uh, here in a temporary folder. Now we open that file which we just copied to create the action and let's uh, start recording a new action I will call it crop to monitors and uh, it's automatically recording right now and we adjust the crop area Make sure to do it from the first try, not to apply changes and then crop again, because it will slow the whole procedure. And now this part. And here we are okay, I can crop a little bit more as well. Alright, we press OK and we save it. 
file savers and we save it overwriting the original one. Now let's close, let's go to file automate batch and we will process the four images. First we click the folder where the original images are and then I will paste them in this folder. Override uh, actions open is uh, marked if you had open here. But if you don't have open, we will not press it. And then let's click OK. Hmm. Let's stop. Stop this. Uh, because let's see the let's uh, delete this. Uh, first let's uh, cancel the recording, uh, uh, save the recording, we have uh, this operation, close we don't need because they are automatically closed. Let's delete this and now we are ready to roll them. Automate, batch, folder this one, folder this one. Ok. And now I expect to get uh, four images which will be quite. Let's merge them. Go to merge. Go to reposition. Files. Browse. We will need uh, this folder. And select them. As you can see they are cropped. And press OK. Now as you can see it is done. Let's see for any errors. It seems uh, very nicely uh, melded together. Let's uh, just uh, crop it a little bit. So. Save this. PNG file or GPG, doesn't matter. I prefer PNG files. Smallest. Loss or compression and uh, let's uh, close Photoshop after this is done. It's opened. All right. Let's not open it. Let's see. I presume we shall close the first one as well. Let's try to save it as another name in this case. PNG. And let's call it for Jurassic. It shall save it uh, without problems. Yes, close Photoshop of course, not needed. And now we are ready to georeference it. Open the image. This one. Coordinate system is the project one. And let's find the lots we used. You see here is the point, one of the points. We will now use only snapping to this layer and use the bottom point. It's very easy when you have uh, isolated only the lots you need. This one will go to the top point here. We have uh, in the bottom, I don't see it actually, it's probably out of view. I should have uh, created one more 
a strip of images, two images in the bottom, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We, we need three points anyway. And here we have, let's use this point. And we are ready to georeference it. The coordinate system, the output raster will be. Let's use uh, large. Okay, and go. Yes we have uh, correctly georeferenced them on the map. Thanks for watching, it's Nico Wallef signing off and uh, wishing you inspiration in your practice. See you in the next video.